last night. All New Jersey Transit train service was suspended last night because of like engineer, like there was a shortage of train engineers that night. But apparently train service is back up to normal. To one of my, um, to one of my subscribers, his name is Ben. He's a, a train engineer. Um, if you know why all the engineers just decided not to run the trains that night or there was a shortage, please let me know because I have no idea why. But every train line except for the Atlantic City line was suspended. Oh, check this out. Look at this. This is so pretty. Oh, okay. So I'm going to tell y'all where we're at, we're at right now. We're here by the parking lot. And uh, as you can see, that's the railroad track. So the next train I think comes in about an hour. So we'll see what happens. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think these are lavender plants. They're pretty, right? This whole area is beautiful. It's chilly though. It's actually surprisingly kind of cold today. Not really, it's not actually cold, but with the breeze, the fact that there's no sun, and it's probably in like the low 70s today. So a bit chilly just for my, just cause I'm wearing a t-shirt. But as you can see, very pretty. I probably shouldn't have worn Crocs to go hiking, but I don't really care. Just look at that. Now, I saw a video from uh, one of my favorite train engineers. I don't know him personally, but I've seen his YouTube videos and stuff. His name's Ben. He's a subscriber of mine. So, I want to. Uh, he made a video, but he was like up on the train trestle almost. I don't know how the hell he got up there. But we have an hour, about an hour and a half till the next train comes. I don't want to leave here without seeing a train. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. So. I think in an hour we'll probably find a time to get, or like, or like the way to get up there without trespassing. It's probably to go up that way, but I don't really know. All right, so this is probably the best shot we'll get of the viaduct itself. Obviously, this is not a good spot if you want a rail fan. Um, but as I was saying before, I I don't actually I don't think I said this to you guys, um, but there's no like river down here. This trestle just goes over a valley, I think. I mean, maybe there's like a little creek or like a like a tiny body of water, but right now I don't see anything. And something I'm kind of surprised by is there's not as much graffiti as I thought there would be. I thought there'd be a lot more. Yeah, and there's some, but not much. So I want to get to see what the valley looks like. This has always been kind of like my dream rail fan spot. Um, because of how pretty it is. And, um, yeah. what's really crazy though is like last night there was no rail service, which is like crazy. But today it's back to normal. I mean, I don't know about completely back to normal, but at least back to normal on the Port Jervis line. But Port Jervis is not New Jersey Transit, Port Jervis is Metro North. But I think they share the line because I have. I have seen New Jersey Transit cars and engines that go to Port Jervis. Um, but I want to come back here in the fall for sure. And I want to take a train ride instead of driving. Because this time we drive. So we probably have to go to like... The closest stations on this train line to our house is Clifton. Which is about 8 minutes away from our house. And then Patterson which is about 15. So this is a really long train line. But the problem is, is like in our area there's no trains that go to Port Jervis. They're all express. Because Port Jervis is pretty far. I think the only ones that go to Port Jervis are like the late trains. Which I wasn't really thinking about earlier. So it looks like I found like pretty much the bottom of where this goes. It looks like there's some rocks over there. So maybe there's a creek. Yeah, I see some water. I think it's a creek. I'm going to have to check for you guys though. This very steep. This is not the type of place you want to slip. Like if you have a, like a really rowdy dog, like a dog that's crazy, like rowdy, I would not recommend you bring it here, especially in this area, like with all these like loose rocks and stuff, because. I mean, this place is pretty, but it's not worth you breaking all the bones in your body. Oh, there is a waterway. I, it didn't look like on the map there was a river, but this is more of like a creek. Maybe it's a river. I don't know. Wow. This is beautiful, guys. 
check this out. This is nice. There's probably fish here. It's my guess. There's probably like little fish. You definitely wouldn't find any like cod or like catfish. You definitely wouldn't find that here, but. Or you definitely wouldn't find salmon. I don't even think there's salmon in this area. I think salmon are in Alaska. <laughs> Look at how high up it is. This is such. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> well, my only complaint here is that like the thorns are sh and like the bushes are so thick here. It's like not even really a path anymore. So. Something, but something else that I'm confused about is like, how come all the train lines, except for the Atlantic City line, which doesn't even connect to New York or Hoboken, connects to Philly and Atlantic City. Why was that line, like none of the engineers went on strike on that line, but like on every other line, it's like just no more service. And then it resumes again. And not just on this line, but on all the other lines. It's like not 100% not back to normal, but like almost, at least on this line it is. We kind of made our own path, kind of just going through these uh, weeds or whatever they are. <laughs> guys, I wonder what this is. Can y'all tell me? Because I have no idea. Uh, you guys probably don't know either. <laughs> so this is the uh, start of the trestle. And this is probably how Mr. Ben got up here. Look at all this graffiti. I spoke too soon about the graffiti. I said there wasn't a lot. How the hell do people get up here? Is my question. My guess is they were probably holding on to those rails. Uh, it's possible. But it's definitely not safe. I bet there's graffiti in like the middle of the track somewhere. And then you wonder how the hell do people do that? It's like, how can you even be that brave? I mean, I'm brave, but that's <laughs> on another level of braid. Brave. I said braid. Um, so obviously the graffiti is pretty self-explanatory. A lot of profanity. I'm not going to say that because, you know, my channel, I do not use bad words on my channel. Maybe you'll hear me say the A word or the B word once in a while, but that's about it. Okay, so we've made it to the top. As you can see, there's a lot of fences because obviously that's really dangerous. Um... I mean, the fences go for a really long time, too. I mean, you could probably get under that. I mean, I don't think I could. My uh, my shirt would probably get caught in between those, um, whatever, the, like, the fence. I like the little wire on the fence. Hmm. So, even the railroad track's pretty. You gotta love Metro North, right? Here, let me get a view. This might be the best view we've gotten today. Look, I see the railroad track right there. And it's still fenced in this part too. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, I mean, it only makes sense because um, the trestle, it's kind of hard to explain. I don't know what you would call these trestles because you have those ones that have rocks on them. And then the other ones that are just the railroad track with the wooden ties. Um, and like, so if you fell, you would fall and die. There's a lot of, tr there's a lot of train trestles like that. And that's one of them right there. So it's hard to explain, but if you look at a picture or a video, it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory. Look at this guys. This is amazing. <laughs> look at how high up we are too. You can actually look. Yeah. I'm not, and I'm not afraid of heights, you guys. But I should tell you guys that I am afraid of roller coasters. I'm going to Six Flags with my school. I have a school field trip later this week. And I'm not getting on any roller coaster. I don't care. Because <laughs> I don't want to throw up, get a stomach ache, get all dizzy. It's not my thing. I like heights like this. Heights where you don't feel like you're going to die, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs>
enough to see a train. I apologize about the wind, um, but I'm not Mother Nature, so I can't control that. Um, so yeah, we did see a train. I'm surprised that it was a New Jersey Transit and not a Metro North engine. Because the bridge is owned by Metro North and all the stations in New York are owned by Metro North. So it's a bit confusing to me, but anyways. Um, something I want to say, you guys, is like, there are, most of the trains that go to Port Jervis are express, like I told you guys earlier. And, like, imagine you want to go to, like, Clifton, Lyndhurst, Patterson, or somewhere, like, not that far from Hoboken. And you get, and you accidentally get on the express train to Port Jervis. You're going to hear the uh, conductor be like, this stop is Secaucus Junction. Next stop is Ramsey. Because <laughs> they, because the, the, their first stop from Secaucus is Ramsey, which is towards the top of New Jersey. So, imagine that. I bet that happens all the time. I bet it happens more than we think. So, we're back in the parking lot. But, um, or imagine falling asleep. <laughs> like, imagine you're trying to go to Lyndhurst and then you fall asleep on that train because you're so tired. And then you wind up in Port Jervis. The conductor's waking you up and saying, hey, you're in Port Jervis. <laughs> that would be funny. That would suck, though. How the hell are you going to get home? Because I don't think that there's many trains that go to Hoboken during rush hour at the Port Jervis line because there's only one track. All right, so we're leaving. Um, and something I just want to say is the trestle kind of reminds me of um, Family Guy because um, Joe, the one who's, I think that's the one in the wheelchair. Whatever the one in the wheelchair is, he was in a wheelchair because he got hit by a train on a train trestle. His legs got crushed. Um, it was Peter, Cleveland, and Glenn Quagmire. They were with Joe. And um, they, all got, they all got off in time, um, but unfortunately, um, Joe didn't, and he got legs crushed. Now, I know I'm not trying to <laughs> sound racist or anything, but I'm surprised, because you know how TV shows and movies are. I'm surprised Cleveland wasn't the one that got his legs crushed. Look at this. We're only like, an hour away from the city too. We're just taking a bus. No, it's a black guy. Uh, guys, anyone know when the next train is scheduled? Don't worry. If a train comes, I'll warn you in slow motion. Train. <laughs> Hey, sorry you got paralyzed, Joey. That's all right. 